Hello, I'm Lawrence Moroni for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We're preparing to launch a new set of policies for app metadata on Google Play to keep the most important discovery elements on your store listing page recognizable and unique. We will limit the length of app titles to 30 characters, prohibit keywords that imply store performance, and eliminate graphic elements that may mislead users in the app icon. You can expect more details about this policy change, including enforcement start dates later this year. We've also announced a new store listing preview asset guidelines, which we'll start using to inform our recommendations starting in the second half of 2021. Check out the post to review these new store listing guidelines in detail and prepare for our upcoming policy changes. The updated Google Pay button displays a user's card information if they've configured an eligible payment in their Google account. This makes them more likely to opt for the quick and easy checkout process that Google Pay provides. If you use the Create Button API with default button options, your Google Pay button is automatically updated. Check out the post to see the new button in action with a customization tool and to learn more about how to enable card information. The XD to Flutter plugin makes it easy for you to export your Adobe XD designs into clean, functional code for Flutter. Responsive resize adds support to the responsive layout features of XD. Stacks and scroll groups provide new ways to lay out content on screen dynamically, and background elements let you designate a visual element as the background for a group. Check out the post for how to get started with the plugin and more on all of the updates in version 2.0. OpenSaves is a brand new purpose-built single interface for multiple storage backends that's powered by Google Cloud and developed in partnership with 2K. With OpenSaves, game developers can run a cloud-native game storage system that's simple, fast, and scalable, all without having to make the technical decisions on which cloud storage solution to use, and whether that's Google Cloud Storage, Memory Store, or Firestore. Everything you need to get started is in the post. So please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Lawrence Moroni for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. And my smoke alarm just went off. I don't know why.